going on, folks? You on Cloud Freddy back at it. Okay. Another week, another great episode. Thanks again for your viewership, your comments, your sharing, yeah. liking, subscriptions. We definitely appreciate it. Um, tonight's topic is how to plan a glam budget wedding. Yes. That's yes. right. Gifted. <laughs> you did. Because at first we were just going to say how to plan a wedding on a budget, but people might think that means cheap, but um, exactly. we had a budget friendly glam wedding, so maybe that's the title. Okay. Yes. So um, we get a lot of um, messages and comments on our pictures of our wedding and how beautiful it looked and um, it looked expensive and all of this, that, and the third. It was not. So um, me and my husband, we don't go the traditional route. We like to um, be different. We never like to do what everybody else is doing. And um, going into the wedding, unlike some others, we didn't take out a loan. We didn't um, have a wedding fund, because I know some women save from the time that they start working for this wedding day. Um, we didn't have any of that. We kind of just winged it and took it <laughs> day by day. And um, we got engaged August 6th, and we got married September 10th, the following year. So we really had like a year and a month to plan a wedding. Um, so let's get into this. So the first thing I'd say is um, try not to stick to a traditional wedding venue, like a catering hall or whatever you call those ballroom halls. Those are gonna be extremely pricey. Cause you know, and especially if you want like top shelf liquor. Now let's be real, people go to weddings for the entertainment and the food. So you can't do a wedding, even though some people do, without liquor. Like, it's a part of the turn up, you know? So yeah. you don't wanna have to use one of those venues, but then you can't serve alcohol because you can't afford it. So you have to be realistic with your budget and um, you can still get all of that. You just can't do it maybe at one of those venues or maybe shop around. But um, I know those places, they start maybe at like 150 per person for dinner and for alcohol. And we knew we could not afford that budget. Now, I'm not an only child. I'm, I have like 10 siblings, so it's a lot of us. And then, you know, a lot are married and have boyfriends and girlfriends. So my siblings alone was a lot. And I was like, that's money right there. And he's an only child, but he has a lot of friends and you know family too that he had to invite so we were looking at about 75 guests i don't know where we were going with that <laughs> um because we are two um kind of like popular uh, i'd say people so um that's a modest list maybe if we were both only children and we didn't have we had a small circle that would have worked but we started off with 75 people for the guest list and on the wedding day we had 125 yeah, so and that was cutting it down exactly because there was a lot of people we just still could not in invite. We'll get to that, but um, the first thing is scratch out that catering hall, banquet hall idea, or you know, the whole chandelier, glass floors, tile, and ceramic fountains, and all of you're gonna have to work around that if you want that, you know nice wedding where you can get all your people there and still have a good time so um those places are too pricey and you might be saving for a long time so we did not go that route we live in brooklyn which is popping if you are not familiar it, it's amazing you should take a trip to come to nyc and stay in brooklyn so brooklyn is up and coming it's like the new manhattan right now right so we have like a lot of um lofts and a lot of celebrities you know are moving to brooklyn or live in brooklyn because it's like trending now so um we went the route of renting a loft so we rented the w loft which is stands for i guess williamsburg loft people think it's the w hotel it's not <laughs> it's the w loft and it's on kent avenue i believe but anyway um that venue for a Sunday, we did a Sunday wedding, that's another thing we're gonna talk about, um, was 4,000 at the time that we got married, which that's very reasonable. 
and they tell you the max guests that you can have, you know, max capacity or whatever the case is, da da da. So we started building around that. The venue is beautiful. It, 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 it's just amazing. It's Eye like opener. the um, the outside area, whereas the rooftop is overlooking Manhattan and it's by the water. So you have all of that New York skyline in the back. Mm -hmm. Then that's where we did our ceremony space on the outside top of rooftop. the rooftop. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then they have a deck that's on a level a little bit higher. And that's where we did our cocktail hour. Um, and then the inside, that's where we did the reception. So we got all of that for 11 hours on a Sunday for 4,000. That's amazing. Like, 11 hours? That's yeah. crazy. And it came with a cleanup crew and everything. Like, the only thing is when you do a loft, you have to bring in everything. You know, and to some people, it becomes stressful. They don't, they don't want to, you know, they don't want to have to think about all of those things. They want something that's ready made and they just have to pay. So I didn't mind because we knew we had to cut costs and I, we also wanted a beautiful wedding. Mm -hmm. So um, we, they give you, the, what's good about them also is that they give you a vendor list. So they'll tell you about catering companies that work with them, that deliver to the loft. They have chair rentals, party rentals, glassware, bartenders, All the resources DJs, you everything you need. They had a vendor list. So that was amazing. So I'd say go the non-traditional route if you still want something nice and affordable. So we did the loft and there's plenty of lofts. If you're into like um, the rustic st style, they have like the green building. My sister got married there, that's in the Park Slope. So you know, it's all about what type of wedding you want. Our theme was vintage glam and kind of like New York City, black tie, like, you know. So um, that venue fit our vision perfectly. So, and it was only 4,000. I don't mind sharing that with you. That was one thing we was on the same page. Once I walked in, it was like, oh, I see what the hoopla is, the big deal. Cause yeah. you know, she's calling me up like, oh, you're gonna love it. You gotta come and we gotta go down there to meet her and, and see it. Voice, but, um, and I'm like, uh, we gotta look for venues now. I'm like, I really don't wanna do this. And I was like, yo, this place is dope. I'm excited. Yeah. So definitely it was a good experience for me so um yeah men are just like whatever like let me see it they don't care about all of the de details they just want to see and he could definitely see the vision because um he smokes cigars so at nighttime it's like the new york skyline the cigars the picture it, it everything was just beautiful so and it's like a hidden gem mm -hmm. for four thousand i'm sure maybe they're charging more now but with the time we got it everything worked out so from there on we started looking for vendors caterers um my dad's cousin who's my cousin um she's a caterer so she helped us with that she just said to buy the supplies so we really bought like salmon cornish hens oxtail you know stuff like that and she cooked the food she didn't charge us anything we just Very had to flexible. supply so we saved money on food right there we just had to buy the supplies um, the DJ was my cousin. He's a DJ. He does weddings. He has an MC that he works with. It's his friend. We hired them. They gave us a good price for that. He also offered lighting because the loft is just very clean. Um, track lighting, light lighting, and we wanted more of a romantic feel. So he provided lighting with the MC and DJ service. The party was lit. We hired a husband and wife jazz band um acute inflections they are amazing we're gonna tag them below we're gonna tag all these people it's but like um amazing because you know it was vintage glam so she sings and he plays the what the like a bass or a clarinet something like but they're amazing Cello, and they you know they performed while he was walking down the aisle during the ceremony time while people, you know, during the cocktail hour. So it really set the tone. So, you know, it's like um, we had a very nice romantic wedding, but very cost efficient. So, um, Surprisingly. I'm, you know, everybody knows that I'm a makeup artist. So I meet a lot of people. I do a lot of weddings. I network with a lot of people. I make connections. So um, the day of, I planned my own wedding. Like 
I had my own Pinterest board. I knew exactly the vision, the colors. It was black, blush, and rose gold because me and my husband, we like rose gold. Both of our rings are rose gold. But um, that was my vision. I knew exactly what I wanted, what tablecloths, what flowers, everything. We use NYC Flower Project for the flowers. We use um, Priceless, Priceless Elegance Design. She was our day of coordinator. Um, amazing, amazing, no. amazing. Like, and everything just came together. You know, everybody works with everybody. All the vendors did their thing. We have no complaints. And um, to sum that up, we spent about 28000 on the wedding, which I feel like is cheap for a New York City wedding. It's a nice price point. A lot yeah. of people pay over 40 easy. Exactly. So. And we didn't want to take out any loans and stuff like that. So um, we made it do what it, what it do. And trust me, there was days where we wanted to like, let's just go to the court and forget about it and yeah. go to dinner and take some pictures. Because it, it gets real, you know, like those months fly by and you're like, how are we going to pay for this? But yeah. with the help of God and our family and friends, we made it possible. For me being on the other side, it really felt like, oh, now I got to deal with this too. Oh, I got something else. That's very discouraging. Um, so to be able to push through that and the way everything worked out, it was amazing. It was all worth it. Uh, every day I tell her, let's get married again. She's so amazing, but it definitely was a, a beautiful day, um, and it worked out. And again, we made the right decisions. I remember we was in the car after leaving the loft, and I think on the way over there, we were saying, we got to figure out a cost-efficient way to have this wedding. Yeah. Um, what are we going to do? Well, let's do this with the liquor. Um, let's do that with the flowers. I think it can work. She was telling me that, and I'm like, okay, yeah, we just gotta budget, pay attention, because weddings, they get very expensive. Every little thing adds up, so I mean, they do. you can cut corners all you want, but it's gonna cost. Mm -hmm. But um, you just gotta make sure there's no dramatic costs. Because some people try to take advantage, um, as well as once they find out that it's full wedding, all of a sudden you get a different price. So it gets crazy, but um, you gotta see it through. Yeah. And really focus and do a lot of research. That's one thing she was doing. A lot of research. Yes. And um, I told you I planned my own wedding. And I think I did about 22 brides that year of my wedding. So I was very busy. Plus, I had a 9 to 5. So um, my mind, I was, I was nearly going crazy. Like, it was a lot. But, like I said, you have good people. You have a good team. It all comes together, you know. So you definitely can have a beautiful wedding for um, a cost-efficient price. So that's one tip. Also, for um, my dress, I set a price. My highest I was gonna pay was 3,000. I found a dress, I think, for 2,800 from RK Bridal. Amazing, and you know, you've seen the pictures. But um, my husband had his custom tux made because he has a friend that, um, so, sorry. Uh, my boy um, Kingsley, he has a company called The Privilege. Um, he really does things custom for you, whatever type of look you want, whatever type of fabric. Um, he has all of that. He's very skilled, very knowledge in the bespoke industry. So um, he really knew what my vision was. Um, and he even added his extra details to make the day feel more special. Um, obviously he was there at the wedding, but he also was there for support, yeah. making sure everything was fitted, looking crispy, whether it's uh, shoes, whether um, it's the lapel. Um, I had my tie done by D Leaks. Mm -hmm. um, on Instagram, he's called D World's Best. Um, also my friend Kingsley, his uh, screen name for his products is the privilege so that's p-r-i-v-e-l-e-g-e -E -E. the accent mark somewhere right yeah i think like over one of these but um, you'll find them but and you got he got his shoes custom from him as well with my initials on it yeah um so and how uh, much you paid around about for the my, tux about, and the shoes about 15 1600 
but she's not bad. Decent, yeah, and it looked top notch. The shoes, top notch, like straight from Spain. It looked like I came from London, yeah. like Belgian loafers. Then I switched the Belgian loafers to the suede uh, loafers. No velvet <laughs> slippers oh, with my initials on it, like, and nobody else can get it. They didn't know where I got it. It wasn't Gucci or anything. It's so, custom. Exactly. So, so it's made just for you. So yeah. all of those little simple touches you can do. You just have to do your research and network, and um, you can find there's talented people out there. And let me tell you something. Instagram is such a great tool. You know, like you can just look up hashtags and find people. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of talent out there that's undiscovered and that's willing to, um, you know, help you get your dream wedding for half the price of somebody else. So take advantage of all of those, um, talents, you know, for what was it? Oh, for the cocktail food. Um, it was a friend of a friend. He made all of the cocktail food cause our, um, food was Caribbean soul. So he did like, um, Escovy shrimp with plantain and like all these nice um, Caribbean soul inspired appetizers and I think to feed 125 people for cocktail hour he charged me about 1600 which is nothing you know so and <laughs> you know our cousin my cousin hooked me up for the um, reception food and it was amazing and everything instead of steak we did oxtail you know so it's like you improvise but we you know the food was great Top notch. the entertainment was great i was so famished i didn't even care really what i was eating i was just stuff my face but it was <laughs> it, amazing it was good. and you know you say you don't eat during your wedding we was eating like it was yeah, really know good what they talking about or some people say oh you, you know try to enjoy your wedding because a lot of people don't even get a chance to enjoy no we made yeah the we most enjoyed of it, it. We did. um and even nightcap after towards the end of the wedding so it was just one of those days that was picture perfect also another thing that we want to touch this is where you should spend a little bit money but you can still find somebody within your budget photography and videography okay because once that day is done it's done you know the cell phone pictures is cool but how long are you going to hold on to those? You know, you want that good video that you can play for your kids and grandkids and be like, you know, this was our wedding day. Look at our album of our wedding, how beautiful it was. So it must be like a movie. Definitely. That's where you want to pay attention and find a good, solid photographer and videographer. And we were blessed with Matt, Matthew Ellis. Um, his name is Matt Ellis on Instagram. We got to shout him out because he did our engagement photos and that's where we fell in love. Then um, the wedding, our anniversary pics, he's amazing. And he, his best friend is a videographer, LJR Films on Instagram. He did our and wedding trailer that you see on our page. Yeah, our it's channel. top notch everything. And like I said, these are all talented people out there and the prices are it's workable and like you said um, you want to uh, invest in it and I think what we ended up doing is we kind of met somewhere in the middle yeah. as far as the package and the options where we didn't go so high but we knew we wanted the film mm -hmm. so we met somewhere in the middle it wasn't, wasn't too expensive we sacrificed for it so that's what you want to keep in mind too with all the decisions that you make you may not want to go overboard yeah but you don't want to undercut or devalue what the vision could be either. So try to meet somewhere in the middle where, you know, you're not regretting it. Exactly. So um, for the videography and photography, we got a great deal. Um, we, are, we were extremely happy with the price we paid. It was definitely worth it. Every time we press play on that video and every time we look at our pictures. Priceless. You know, priceless and speechless. So... We still came out in our, within our budget. Um, for the bridesmaid dresses and the groomsmen, we did rentals. So a lot of people don't know that. You know, they think that I went to like David's Bridal. Um, it was a headache with the rentals for the girls, for the guys. It was seamless, flawless experience. And he had nine groomsmen. I only had six. And 
rent the runway. They dropped the ball. They made up for it, but they dropped the ball. So, um, you know, all my bridesmaids was able to wear a dress. So, you know, it worked out in the end. God made it happen. But we did rentals. So the dress that I picked was a Badgley Mishka dress, which is a high-end um, dress that I think usually goes for like 300 but we rented it for like $90. And then he used the black tux for the groomsmen, and I think their rentals was like 125 and it came with a shirt. Yeah. So, and, you know, they had to focus on uh, going to a location um, that was neutral where another suit vendor had um, allowed black tux to rent out. Uh, a certain spot where they can try on the suits to see how the fitting was very convenient um, since and then it's online the bow ties I had that to be rose gold so we used them um, what was the name of it Etsy yeah on Etsy Etsy was my best friend like you find a lot of good things some people say it's pricey but like my wedding jewelry and everything was from Etsy oh, uh, wedding uh, br bridal party and, and uh, bridal party gifts we got from Etsy's too but exactly. that's the flask everybody's name on it it's affordable yeah you know you that look was at really nice. some budget planning lists and they say be careful with the wedding gifts is not necessary that's true but also there's a lot of affordable stuff yeah. that's thoughtful where again you don't have to go overboard mm -hmm. but you go right in the middle where yeah. you know you're doing it up and we also you know we knew that we were tight with money and we wanted to save in cost, so we didn't want to put our bridal party through that as well. You know, we wanted them to feel like it's not that much to be in this wedding, you know, like I don't feel the strain in my pockets. So we went in with that thinking too. So I found the cheapest way where we can still look glamorous and amazing. So we discovered the black tux, rent the runway, and you see the pictures, everybody looks amazing. So, um, and it was cost efficient. Instead of them paying $300 for a bridesmaid dress, they paid $90, rented it for the D, and um, sent it back. But because Rent the Runway messed up, they refunded everybody their money because one bridesmaid never received her dress. But the good thing with them is they sent two dresses. So my cousin was able to wear one of the other girls' other dress. So that's how everybody got in. But they refunded them full, all their money, and they gave me 50% off if I ever rented from them. So, win, 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 win. They really didn't pay anything to rent their bridesmaid dresses. So, God works these thing up, things out. Um, what else can we touch on? But um, for our favors, we had like mini cheesecakes for our wedding cake. Um, it's a friend of mine. She, gave, she did two cakes for the price of, of like one big cake. And we had two different style cakes and it was amazing and beautiful and tasty. Um, all the vendors and like 90% of our vendors were black owned. You know, we supported most of the people in our community, in our neighborhood, these young upcoming people. But like I said, everybody were, was professional and um, they delivered. We have no complaints. So Definitely. don't think that when you hear budget, you know, it's cheap. It looks like you went to Party City and got some little plastic tablecloths. That's that's not it. Ours was done with very with a lot of class. Um, it was very elegant and beautiful. And you know, we watched our coins, so don't feel bad about that. You know, not everybody can afford a hundred thousand dollar wedding, um, but you can still make it look that way. So that's right. Um, Being reasonable. Oh, the affordable stuff. The hair, well, you know him, Mr. Flawless with his beard and everything like that. His barber hooked him up. His barber was actually at our wedding because, you know, we love all our people that we yes. meet. Yes, <laughs> you got to take care of everybody, you know. Exactly. Line me up, enjoy the festivities also, you know. So, um, my hair was done by Hair Salvation, who is also like my cousin. And um, she laid this hair and all of the bridesmaids' hair. Color du jour. She's like a makeup guru of mine that I admire for so long. Um, I took one of her classes, and after that, I was like more in love. So I did fly her out, but it's still within my budget, and that was like my gift to myself because I am a makeup artist, and that was like an important thing for me, and I didn't want to work on my wedding day. So she made sure she took care of us. She did nine people. And she was on time and she's from Houston, Texas. So she showed up, she did everything amazing. But um, 
just do your research. You can have a glamorous, beautiful wedding on a budget. If you guys have any questions, obviously we couldn't tell you everything. Um, you can definitely comment below. Exactly. Um, Instagram, Freddie Gusto, Mima Creations. You could definitely DM us some questions you may have in regards to weddings, clarifications. Definitely. Um, but We're here for you. We definitely, again, appreciate all of your support, guys. You know, we do. Our channel is subscribe. growing. Absolutely. And, you know, we're going to always keep coming up with dope topics, like I always say. So uh, definitely give us feedback on that, too. Anything you want us to touch upon, give our opinion on, that's what we're here for. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Comment below. Stay tuned for the next episode.